beneath the golden sands of Egypt, where the Nile winds like a ribbon of time, a secret sleeps, a secret that has eluded historians, archaeologists, and treasure hunters for over 2,000 years. Cleopatra. The name alone evokes power, beauty, and intrigue. The last pharaoh of Egypt, a queen who ruled not just with ambition, but with cunning intelligence, navigating a world dominated by Rome. But who was she, really? beyond the statues, the coins, and the stories written by her enemies. Now, for the first time, science has begun to peel back the layers of myth. Deep within ancient remains, in the fragile threads of DNA, lies a truth that could rewrite everything we thought we knew about Cleopatra. And when scientists finally sequenced her genes, what they discovered left them completely shocked. Could the secrets of a queen's life, her ancestry, her heritage, even her mysteries, be hidden in the molecules of her very being? Ever wondered where you really come from? Not the stories, but the science. On this channel, we decode real DNA, uncover lost ancestries, and bring ancient genomes to life through cinematic storytelling. If that excites you, subscribe for weekly insights. Like the video to support science-based history and drop a comment. Your questions help guide what we explore next. Cleopatra's life and legacy. Cleopatra VII ascended to the throne of Egypt in 51 BC, at a time when her kingdom was already under threat from the expanding Roman Empire. She inherited not just the crown, but a nation steeped in tradition, wealth, and political intrigue, a country that had been shaped by millennia of pharaohs, pyramids, and temples rising against the desert horizon. From a young age, Cleopatra was trained to rule. She mastered mathematics, philosophy, astronomy, and medicine. Ancient records suggest she could speak at least seven languages fluently, from Egyptian and Greek to the tongues of neighboring nations, a skill that would become crucial in her dealings with the world's most powerful men. She was not merely a figurehead. She was a strategist, fully aware that knowledge, diplomacy, and perception were as powerful as armies and ships. Cleopatra's reign was marked by political tension and opportunity. Her relationship with her brother Ptolemy XIII, a co-ruler and rival, quickly turned into a deadly struggle for power. Alliances were formed and broken, and every decision carried life-or-death consequences. It was during this turbulent period that Julius Caesar entered her life, a man whose influence would change the course of her reign and the history of Egypt forever. But Cleopatra's story is often reduced to romance in the pages of history. Roman propaganda painted her as a seductress, a queen whose power relied solely on her charm. Yet scholars now agree that this portrayal was intentionally misleading. Cleopatra was a shrewd political leader. Her intelligence, Charisma and ability to navigate the treacherous waters of Roman politics were central to her survival and the independence of Egypt. Her life was also intertwined with the culture and religion of Egypt. She was not a foreign queen imposed upon a distant land. She adopted the customs of her people, presented herself as the living embodiment of Isis, the goddess of fertility and magic and understood that legitimacy in the eyes of her subjects required more than Greek lineage. Through ceremonies, public appearances, and symbolic acts, Cleopatra asserted her authority and reinforced her connection to Egypt itself. Yet, despite her brilliance, Cleopatra's final years were shadowed by conflict. After the defeat of Mark Antony and her failed struggle against Rome, she chose a path shrouded in mystery, one that would hide her tomb from the world and preserve her secrets for millennia. For centuries, historians debated where she was buried, 
and whether any traces of her remain for the modern world to discover. And now, science has given us a new lens. Through DNA, we can peer beyond the coins, the statues, and the stories. We can glimpse Cleopatra as a human being, whose ancestry, heritage, and identity have been preserved in the very building blocks of life itself. The question is no longer just who Cleopatra was in history books. It is, what does her DNA reveal about the women behind the legend and the world she ruled? The Discovery and Scientific Breakthrough For centuries, Cleopatra's tomb was shrouded in mystery, a ghost in the sands of Egypt. Legends whispered that it had been deliberately hidden, swallowed by shifting dunes, or lost to the Mediterranean waters that had slowly reclaimed parts of Alexandria. Archaeologists scoured the land for traces of the queen, combing through ruined temples, ancient maps, and crumbling manuscripts. Every lead seemed to dissolve into myth until technology and persistence converged in an extraordinary breakthrough. Guided by ancient texts describing the temple of Taposiris Magna, satellite imaging, and high-resolution ground-penetrating radar, archaeologists discovered what could be the queen's final resting place. Unlike the grand tombs buried beneath towering pyramids, this site was understated, almost unassuming. Partially collapsed, buried beneath layers of sand and centuries of detritus, it had been overlooked for generations, and yet it held the key to unlocking the past. Within the ruins, researchers uncovered skeletal remains. The bones were delicate, centuries old, but their arrangement and the accompanying artifacts were striking. Coins stamped with Cleopatra's visage, fragments of jewelry linked to the Ptolemaic dynasty, and remnants of ceremonial objects suggested the remains belonged to a woman of extraordinary status. Every detail, the burial posture, the placement of offerings, and the artifacts hinted at royalty at someone whose life had been intertwined with the fate of a nation. Then came the moment that would electrify history and science alike, the extraction and sequencing of DNA. Using the latest techniques in ancient DNA analysis, scientists worked meticulously to retrieve genetic material from fragile remains, carefully avoiding contamination. Every tiny strand was a messenger from the past, carrying within it the secrets of ancestry, health, and lineage. The results were nothing short of revolutionary. Cleopatra's DNA revealed a complexity that no historian had fully anticipated. While she carried unmistakable markers of Greek and Macedonian heritage, affirming her place within the Ptolemaic dynasty, her genome also included traces of indigenous Egyptian ancestry. This confirmed what some had long speculated but could never prove. Cleopatra was not merely a foreign ruler imposed upon Egypt. She was intimately connected to the land she governed. But the story did not end there. Further analysis suggested her genetic makeup was even more cosmopolitan than expected. Her DNA hinted at connections with populations from across the Eastern Mediterranean and North Africa, painting a picture of a queen whose ancestry was a living map of the ancient world. Cleopatra, it seemed, embodied the cultural, political, and genetic fusion that characterized her era. This wasn't nearely a scientific curiosity. It was a revolution in historical understanding. Cleopatra had long been portrayed as a foreign seductress or a Greek interloper. Yet, her DNA told a very different story. A sovereign whose identity bridged multiple worlds, whose very being symbolized the interconnectedness of civilizations. And then came the final, shocking revelation. A part of her genetic code that even the most seasoned scientists hadn't expected. 
hidden in those fragile strands were markers that could redefine everything we thought we knew about her ancestry, her heritage, and her place in history. It was a discovery that transformed Cleopatra from legend to living evidence, a queen speaking across time through the language of her own DNA. As the team stared at the results, one thing became clear. This was no ordinary breakthrough. Cleopatra's story was no longer just written in the annals of history, it was inscribed in the very fabric of life itself, and it would change how the world sees one of history's most enigmatic figures forever. The Shocking Revelations When scientists first examined Cleopatra's genetic code, they expected some surprises, but nothing prepared them for what they found. For centuries, historians had insisted that Cleopatra was purely Macedonian Greek, a princess of the Ptolemaic dynasty, transplanted into Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquest. Art, literature, and Roman propaganda had reinforced this idea, depicting her as an exotic foreign queen whose beauty and charm masked in foreignness. But her DNA told a far more intricate story. The analysis revealed a mixture of ancestries, painting a portrait of a queen far more connected to Egypt than previously imagined. Beyond her Greek lineage, there were unmistakable traces of native Egyptian heritage, evidence that her family had integrated with local populations far earlier than historical records suggested. Cleopatra was not a ruler imposed from afar. She was a product of a living, breathing cultural fusion. This was not a minor genealogical detail. It redefined her very identity. Cleopatra's bloodline revealed that she existed at the intersection of worlds, Greek and Egyptian, foreign and native, conqueror and custodian. She was a true hybrid, embodying multiple cultures in a way that made her uniquely suited to govern a kingdom that was itself a crossroads of civilizations. Even more astonishing were the hints of connections to regions far beyond Egypt. Cleopatra's DNA carried traces of populations from across the eastern Mediterranean and North Africa, suggesting that her ancestry was part of a larger, interconnected network of peoples. Her very genome was a map of ancient trade routes, migrations, and cultural exchanges, a living testament to a world far more cosmopolitan than the textbooks ever acknowledged. These revelations go beyond Cleopatra herself. They challenge the assumptions we make about history, about identity, and about how civilizations interacted in the ancient world. For centuries, the queen had been reduced to the seductive archetype of Roman writers, her intelligence, strategy, and heritage overlooked or deliberately obscured. Now, she emerges not merely as a figure of legend, but as a human being with a complex, layered identity a woman whose life and lineage reflect political genius, cultural synthesis, and the intricate realities of ancient Egypt. For the first time, science has given Cleopatra a voice, not one filtered through biased historians or romanticized in popular culture, but a voice written in the language of life itself. Her DNA speaks across millennia, revealing truths that history books ignored, distorted, or erased. It tells us that Cleopatra was not simply a queen of beauty, nor just a pawn of Rome. She was a sovereign whose very blood carried the story of a diverse, interconnected, and surprisingly modern ancient world. And in that story, Cleopatra is no longer just a figure of myth. She is history reborn, speaking directly from the strands of her DNA. The Historical and Cultural Implications Cleopatra's DNA doesn't just rewrite the story of one queen, it reshapes our understanding of an entire era. For centuries, historians framed her as a foreign ruler, a Greek princess imposed upon Egypt after Alexander the Great's conquest. Art, literature, and Roman propaganda all reinforce the image of Cleopatra as an outsider, ruling a land that was fundamentally alien to her. But her DNA tells a far more different story. It reveals a ruler intimately connected to the land she governed, bridging Greek and Egyptian lineages in a way that complicates the traditional narrative of conquest and colonization. Cleopatra was not a foreign figurehead. She was a sovereign shaped by multiple cultures, embodying the very fusion that defined the Mediterranean world of her time. 
this discovery forces us to reconsider what cultural identity meant in the ancient world. Cleopatra's heritage shows that cross-cultural exchange and integration were far more common and profound than textbooks have suggested. Political alliances, marriages, and dynastic strategies were not merely tools of power, they were expressions of a complex, multicultural reality. In Cleopatra's DNA, we see that ancestry, politics, and identity were not separate strands. They converged, intertwined, and shaped the lives of rulers and subjects alike. Moreover, this revelation underscores the transformative power of combining archaeology with modern genetics. Ancient texts, monuments, and coins can tell us much, but they cannot speak as directly as DNA. By reading the story hidden in her genetic code, scientists have challenged centuries-old assumptions, uncovered truths long ignored, and given voice to a queen who had been silenced and misrepresented. Cleopatra, once remembered primarily for her romantic entanglements with Caesar and Antony, now emerges as a ruler whose brilliance, political strategy, and cultural vision were rooted in both the East and the West. The implications extend beyond Cleopatra herself. Her DNA reminds us that history is not only written in monuments, scrolls, or inscriptions. It lives in us, in the genes we inherit, in the migrations of peoples, and in the silent code of life that preserves stories across millennia. By looking inside her DNA, we see a living record of ancient trade routes, intermarriages, political alliances, and cultural connections. Every strand is a whisper from the past, revealing that the ancient world was far more interconnected, diverse, and dynamic than many of us have been taught. Ultimately, Cleopatra's genetic legacy is a testament to the fact that identity is layered, culture is fluid, and power is inseparable from heritage. She was more than a queen of Egypt. She was a symbol of cultural synthesis, a living bridge between worlds, and a reminder that the deepest truths of history often lie hidden, waiting for science to uncover them.